welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i will continue and this is the second part for the human generator add-on in blender so let's get started with this add-on just if you want to make some changes and add in some improvement on your human 3d model as shown here as i mentioned in the previous tutorial we have some characteristics for different organs and the different uh, parts of the human body as shown here the characteristics for arms and legs as shown here if you want and uh, we have special torso and muscles i i mentioned that and i have uh, done some I have done some tips and uh, I have changed some values for different characteristics of the muscles as shown here, previous tutorial. So just I will go ahead to show you some other different categories as shown here. For example, the age if you want to make it for example 80. This is going to be changing the some detailing on the body and on face as shown here. For example, in the age category, we have some age adjustment if you want. Aged male, aged young, and the wrinkles if you want to add wrinkles. If you want to age color, so cavity strength and normal strength. Let's uh, go forward to show you the face and the third. So let's uh, just hide all these rigs. Hit H. For the face, we have many other characteristics of the face. The upper scale, if you want to change uh, all these factors, bridge sand and the bridge lock and forehead temple shown here for example let's try to change some uh, values if you want and as shown here you can notice that so let's just zoom in to show you some uh, great features for this uh, amazing add-on bridge scent if you want to change it and also bridge lock the forehead size Increase or decrease the forehead size. It's gonna be controlling the forehead size. So let's uh, move to the eyes. Just uh, rotate it just a tiny bit to show you some uh, great characteristics for the eyes. If you want to change the the eye depth shown here, or by decreasing this value can change the, the depth uh, the eye depth shown here or the eye distance uh, you can change and to make them so 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 approach it for the, these two eyes to change the, the distance between these two eyes the eye height also if you want want to take it up and take it down the eye height Eyelid fat pod. Also, the eyelid rotation. If you want to change the position of the eyelid around the eye. Also, we have other features. Try try them yourself. Eyelid shift variation, and you have eye height. So, the eye orbit size. Then I tilt and I width. So so let's move to ears. We have some characteristics for ears, like ear uh, antihelix is gonna be changing the position of ear antihelix shown here. For example, like this, and the ear height. I want to change the ear height. 
And uh, playing with these values is going to be creating uh, your customized 3D model for human and ear turn also. You want to turn it uh, for the side, to the side or to the other side. So we have the ear width value, if you want to change it and to control the this width for the ear. Let's move on to see the other organs like the nose, the nose angle, nose bridge, also the nose width if you want, the nose height if you want to change the nose height, I'm gonna be moving, uh, moving it uh, just a little bit up or a little bit down. And the nose location, playing with this value is going to be changing the nose location as shown here. I'll move it uh, out just a little bit out or move it in to make the nose much more smaller. The nose nostril, if you want to change the nose and nostril also, size as shown here. Then nose tip angle and many other different uh, factors. Also for the lower scale, if you want to change the lower scale, change this its size and the width and anything you want, as shown here. Also the muzzle location, if you want to change the muzzle location. Then let's go to mouth. Let's continue showing showing some great features and other features for the skin. If you, add, uh, if you want to add some materials for the skin, like this, click over here. Then we have uh, many different uh, kinds, categories for skin like this. And you can choose, for example, to add the skin. And you have to switch to launch the rendered view in order to see this uh, skin as shown here. And you can also change the, the quality if you want. And there is different kinds of skins over there. Also, if you want to make some settings uh, for to change the color, the hue, the tone, and the different other factors to change and to control the color of the skin over here. Subs uh, and you have subsurface capturing and the wear, freckles and eyes. In this category for hair, how to create hair, and we have a bunch and uh, different kinds of hair like uh, ball top comb over, ball top, and uh, thin messy, thin side comb. Also, just uh, drag it uh, down a little bit, and you have uh, different kinds of uh, hair as shown here. Click on it to add uh, any kind of hair if you want, and uh, this is for eye if you want to add eyebrows. Change and increase, decrease the lightness, redness, also for uh, the face to add the beard, like this. Change uh, all these defects, hue, roughness, and uh, different colors. If you want to change color category, let's click on this. Uh, Click on this uh, arrow, go over here if you want, uh, for example, to... So let's add this uh, bumper look for clothing. And it's great that we have... Uh, it's uh, wearing uh, clothing. It's wearing some clothes like this, shown here. Also, we have uh, this button for footwear. If you want to to add uh, some uh, shoes, click on it. Go over here. For example, we want to add this shoes, a leather dress for show. For example, click on it. Wait, uh, just wait some seconds in order to be ready. Yes, it's ready. So. 
So it's uh, crazy, and you uh, have created uh, this uh, great realistic uh, 3D human. So just let's explore the, explore the other great features and characteristics. And this button, if you click on it, if you want to generate uh, some rigs for your 3D model, click on generator uh, rigs. And this is gonna be. Uh, Showing showing up this error because uh, the rigify add-on it's uh, not enabled. You should enable the rigify add-on in order to generate the rigs for your three D model. As shown here, go back to library. So what about this pause? And we have uh, many different uh, poses uh, like this, like running, sitting down, and uh, walking, and uh, something like that. Here is the library. Click on it, for example, to make the T pause. Click on it in order to make your 3D model to make it like this. The T pose also. Uh, let's try this running running pose. This position for running, as you can see here, over this 3D model. Then uh, we have other different uh, positions like running like uh, walking, sitting, exp sitting, explaining, sitting body forward, sitting legs together, also uh, standing, standing arms out, gesturing and uh, sitting legs together. We have many different uh, positions and a great, great, very amazing, for example, walking can select walk and wait some seconds in order to be loaded. This is great for walking. So let's move now to this uh, category, which is exertion, for example. So let's just zoom in and uh, just go close to the face in order to see this and we have applied this uh, this position I have applied this position as shown here concerning the face rig you can uh, rig and using some other uh, rig uh, rigging add-on the body and we have discussed this uh, discussed this uh, previously in the previous video so let's hide the, all these rigs if I want to use this model in uh, your video projects Just hide it, hit and then uh, go over here, it is preferences, and search for the add-on. And you can uh, deactivate the add-on as shown here. Select your 3D character. And you can use uh, all the 3D models in your project. Suggest you should buy the, the full version for this add-on on Blended Market. I have link in description if you want to buy it and donate if you want to support the author of this great add-on. And very amazing, I recommend using this add-on in your project. Just buy the add-on. Thanks for watching.